sorting in comparable we can only create one sort sequence in comparator we can create multiple sort sequence method use comparator interface in java method use comparator interface in java has a method public int compare, compare object 1 and object 2 that is return a ne <coughs> negative integer 0 negative integer or zero or positive integer when the object when the object o1 is the less than or equal to or greater than the object o2 the comparable interface has method public int compared to object that return the negative integer zero or positive integer when this object is less than the equal to or greater than the object o like method like this we can use that method we have different different method is that so object for the comparison the comparator compares two object given to it as input comparable interface compares this reference with the object given as a packets location comparable interface in java is defined in the java dot lang package comparator interface is defining in the java dot util package so next question is in java what is the purpose of properties file a properties file in java is a list of key value pairs that can be proposed by java dot util dot properties class generally a properties file has extension dot properties that is my app dot properties like that we can define in the spring boot you can see that properties file will be declared as a key value pair so in java they define properties file are useful uh, for many purpose in all kind of java application some of the uses are to store the configuration initial data application option etc when we change the value of key in a properties file there is a no need to recompile the java application so it provide the benefit of changing value at run time yes so this is the use of properties file so what is the reason of overriding equal method the equals method is in object class object class in object class in object class check whether two object are same or not if we want to custom implementation we can override this math right equals method we can compare two object are same or not for example a person class has the first name last name and age if you want to two person object to equal to based on the name and age then we can override equals method to compare the first name last name and age of a person object generally in hash map implementation if we want to use an object as a key then we override equal method right now next question is how does hash code method work in java hash code method how work in java maybe the viewer asked definitely जिसने मैंने क्वेश्चन बोले ना भाई इसमें से ऐसे तो कुछ पूछना नहीं है उसको यही पूछेगा इतने क्वेश्चन में बता दूंगा ठीक है 
कितने क्वेश्चन हो रहा है अभी तो बहुत बाकी है एक साइड दो सौ क्वेश्चन आसपास चल रहा होगा एक सौ अस्सी क्वेश्चन समथिंग पाँच हजार दो हजार क्वेश्चन करा दूंगा हाँ मैं ठीक है सो लेट्स स्टार्ट ऑब्जेक्ट क्लास इज जावा हैज हैज कोड मेथड दिस मेथड रिटर्न अ हैज कोड वैल्यू व्हिच इज एन इंटीजर व्हिच इज एन इंटीजर द हैज कोड इज अ नेटिव मेथड एंड इट्स इंप्लीमेंटेशन इज नॉट प्योर जावा इट्स नॉट प्योर जावा Java does not generate hash code. However, object generate a hash code based on the memory address of the instance of the object. If two object are same, then their hash code is also same. Based on object, hash code will create it. Right. So it is the good idea to use generic in a collection. Yes, this is the good idea to use it. But the meaning of generic, there some other push. About that in this generic specific of hash. Yes, this is the best idea to use. A collection is a group of elements put together in a order of based on a property. Often the type of element can vary, but the properties and behavior of the collection remain same. Therefore, therefore it is good to create a collection with the generic so that is the type same. And it can be used with wide variety of elements. Types to be the generic type of the type simply. What is the difference between collection dot empty list and creating new instance of collection? What is the difference mean? In both approaches, we get an empty list, but collection empty list return an immutable list. Immutable list. What is that? Collection. Dot empty list return an immutable list. Immutable and mutable mean no. This is the immutable list. We cannot add new element and immutable empty list. Collection dot empty list work like a singleton pattern. Okay, only once of one object it will create it like that single pattern. It does not create a new instance of a list. It rescues an existing empty list in some. We use an existing empty list. Do not create. Why? Because this is the immutable, not a mutable. Mutable will create a new object. This is the immutable. What do you mean? Remove the existing. Good. Therefore, collection dot empty list. Collection for empty list give empty list gives better performance if we need to get an empty list multiple times. So now next is our sub program related question. So this is I'm not explaining here much. You can understand about this source code is all the same. How will you copy element from source list to another list? This is the simple question. So source list to another list. Option one: use array list constructor. Take declare the array list source list. You can pass that directly. You can pass that. If I add another list, use the collection dot copy method as well. Like that, declare one array list. Okay, declare one array list and perform the collection just copy. Destination list should be an same large <coughs> size, large size source list. Collection copy collection dot copy new list from a source list like that. Now collection dot copy does not reallocate the capacity of destination list. If it is does not have enough space to contain all element of a source list, it thrown index out of bound. It will not grow. Right? It just uh, store in that data. The benefit of collection dot copy is that is the guarantee that the copy will happen in linear time. It is not. It is also good for the scenario when we want to. We use the array instead of allocating more memory in the constructor of an array element. One limitation of collection dot copy is that it can access only it can access only list as a source and destination parameters. What are the Java collection? What are the Java collection classes that implement list interface? 
what are the Java collection classes that implement list interface? A tax list. abstract sequence list, array list, did it, attribute list, copy on right array list, linked list, role list, role, unresolved list, stack back. Now, next question. What are the Java collection classes that implement set interface? Same thing is here. This abstract set, concurrent skip list, read it and asset has map right the set. Yeah, set. So now, what is the difference between iterator and list iterator in Java? Iterator and list iterator are two interfaces in Java to traverse data structure. This is the difference between these two are list iterator can be used to traverse only a list, but the iterator can be used to traverse list, set, and queue. Anything you can iterate by using iterator. In the collection, an iterator and iterator traverse the element in one direction only. It is just bold. List iterator can traverse the element in two way direction, like backward as well, forward direction. Iterator cannot provide use index of element in the data structure. List iterator provides use method like next index and previous index to get the index of element during the traverse. That's why it's uh, like forwarding capability as well. Iterator does not allow us to add an element to collection while traversing it. It, it through the concurrent modification exception. List iterator allow us to add an element at any point of time will, while traversing an element. Existing elements value cannot be replaced by using iterator. List iterator provides the method set e to replace the value of the last element written by next as previous methods. Okay, next question is what is the difference between iterator and enumeration? So both iterator and enumeration are interface in Java to access data structure. The main difference between these are, the main difference, enumeration is an order inter interface. Enumeration is the or older interface, sorry, older interface. Iterator is a newer interface. Enumeration can only traverse legacy collection. Iterator can traverse both legacy as well as newer collection. Enumeration does not provide remove method, so we cannot remove any element during the traversal. Iterator provides the remove. Iterator is a fail fast interface. It is give concrete modification exception if we any thread tries to modify an element. If a collection being iterated, enumeration is not fail fast. Method names in iterator are shorter than in enumeration. How can you maintain a collection with element in sorted order? In Java, there are many ways to maintain a collection with the element in the sorted order. Some collection like tree set store element in the natural ordering. In case of natural ordering, we have to implement a comparable interface to comparing the element. We can also maintain the custom ordering by providing a custom comparator to a collection. Another option is to set the utility method, collection.sort, to sort and list. This sorting gives n log n order of performance. But if you if we have to use this method multiple times, then it will be costly on a performance. Another option is to use a priority queue that provides an ordered queue. The main difference between priority queue and collection dot sort is the priority queue maintain a queue in order all the times, but we can only retrieve add element from queue. We cannot access the element of the priority queue in random order. Right? So this is the disadvantage while using priority queue. And collection dot sort is the login.
and complete the story space. We can use tree set to maintain the sort, uh, sorted order of element in collection if there are no duplicate element in collection. What are the difference between the two data structures? What are the difference between the two data structures, vector and array list? An array list is a newer class than a vector. A vector is the considered uh, legacy class in Java. The difference are synchronization. What is the difference between the two things? Synchronization. Vector is the synchronized, but the array list is not synchronized. So array list has the faster operation than a vector. Data growth. Internally, both array list and vector use an array of storing the data. When array list is almost full, in increase its size by 50% of the array size, whereas vector is increased by doubling the underlying array size. Now, what is the difference between array list and linked list data structure? So, data structure. Array list is an index-based dynamic array. Linked list is doubly linked list data structure. Insertion. It is easier to insert new element in the linked list. Since there is no need to resize the array insertion of array list in order of n. Since it may require resizing of array and copying its content to the new array. Remove element. Linked list has better performance in removing of element than array list. Because we have the index limit. Memory use. Linked list, linked list, linked list uses more memory than array list. Since it has to maintain links for the next and previous node as well. Access. Linked list is the slower in accessing an element since we have to traverse the list one by one to access the right location. What is the difference between set and map? Map and set. Set does not allow inserting a duplicate element. Map does not allow using duplicate keys, but inserting a duplicate value or unique keys with that unique key. Null value. Set allow inserting maximum one null value. In map, we can have a single null key as at most and as any number of order. Set does not maintain any order of element. Some of subclasses of a set can sort the element in a order link. Like linked has set uh, a map does not maintain any map does not maintain any order of its element. Some of the its subclasses like remap store element of the map in sending order. So now question is what is the use of dictionary classes? The dictionary class in Java is used to store key value pairs. Any non-null object can use for key value or key value. But if but we cannot insert a null key or null object in dictionary, dictionary class is the deprecated now. So it should be not be used in never implemented. Now next what is the default size of load factor in hash map collection? Default value of load factor in hash map is 0 0.75. What is the significance of load factoring in hash? We can read it. This is an understanding. So, what is the major difference between hash set and hash map? Base class storage duplicate element null value set and hash. Set and map be covered. Na? Ah, this is the implementation class we have. So base class has set class implement set interface, whereas map class implement the map interface. Storage has set use the to store the distinct object. Uh, has map is used to storing key and value pairs so that these can be retrieved by key later on. Duplicate has set does not allow storing duplicate elements as map. 
is allowed, not allowed duplicate key, but we can store duplicate value in a hash of null element. In hash set, we can store a single null value. In hash map, we can store single null key, but any number of null values. Element type. A uh, hash set contains only value of objects as its element, where as uh, the hash map contains the entry is well. Is there? With return, which is in this. So now this is end of the session, guys. So this is maybe it's a long session uh, because lengthy lengthy question we covered, na? important question. So we will meet our next session, next interview questions. Continue. Thank you, thank you for watching.